Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, studying for a PhD is often said to be strenuous and challenging, and studying whilst building a family and managing a career can be even more difficult. Despite their challenges, Dr. Sulnita Swart Feliz and her husband, Dr. Gerard Feliz, decided to pursue their PhDs at the same time, becoming the first couple to obtain their PhDs together. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Congratulations. Thank what an you. achievement. Thanks so much. I, I'm a parent, and I know how, how tough parenting and working is. Yeah. I can't imagine adding a PhD to that. How did you manage? I think when you're passionate about something, you know, you just find time and you, and you do it. Yeah. Wow, you, you make it your... sound so simple. <laughs> but you need to be passionate about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think passion is, is the thing yeah. that will keep you going and you sustain you in, yeah, during yeah. those difficult times. Yeah. And yeah. you, Dr. Jared? I think, Bonnie, you know, um, in, in today's society, you need to constantly upskill yourself and you need to stay abreast with the latest developments out there. And I think for us, we, we wanted to challenge ourselves and, and do something um, and hopefully inspire others in the process. <laughs> well, you've definitely inspired me and I, I can imagine how much you've inspired your children. How much pressure are they feeling right now? <laughs> Well, I think with us, we're really trying to um, let them understand that they need to pursue their own passions. And I would like them, obviously, to, you know, to... To have PhDs. No, 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 <laughs> just to, to, to study further. Yeah. But I think that will be a personal choice for them, sure. whether they should uh, obtain master's degree and PhDs. I yeah. just want them to be happy and to craft a, a, a good career. Yeah. 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 And they understand that they know that. Yeah. But I do think there's a lot of pressure from the outside world. Sometimes people will refer to them as doctor and doctor. They oh, don't like that much. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, another beautiful milestone is the fact that you're married for 20 years. Mm -hmm. You're obviously best friends. <laughs> and yeah. Because I, c I can't imagine studying and living with someone <laughs> every single day. Yeah. How did you guys find that study time together? Did you coordinate your study times? Well... As you're saying, you know, 20 years is a long time. It's a long and time. We spend a lot of time together. Yeah. I think people always comment on the fact that we're always together. If I go to the shop and she's not with me, they want to know where is she. Oh. So that definitely contributed. Yeah. Um, and I think it's actually nice doing it with someone because a PhD can be such a lonely journey. Yeah. And if there's someone doing it with you, there's many times where she'd be sitting, she loves reading and mm -hmm. writing. So she would be always carrying an article with her. Even if we're going on a, on a trip somewhere, the <laughs> articles are with. <laughs> and then I feel so guilty. <laughs> so, so she actually inspired me to, to also, you know, sit and make the time and put in the time. And so for that, what it, for us, it was a big plus. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, I just pictured your, when you get wedding invitations, it has to say, Dr. Sonita and Dr. Gerard. <laughs> oh, no, not necessarily at all. I think um, it's also important to remain very humble. Yes. You know? So, to me, we just Gerard and Sonita. I think that is maybe just professionally the doctor thing. Yeah. But we're happy to be, just be Gerard and Sonita. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Because we, we don't um, like the, those PhD to, to define us. As people. Sure. Yeah. 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 Then we won't be them. able to. Yeah. So there's a time and a place yes, for everything. For everything. And, and we want yes. to inspire people. We don't want people to, to think that we show off, you know. Yeah. 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 Which is be so bad. Yeah. We've sp spoken about the studying. How do you make a 20 year marriage work? I think for everyone it's different. Um, but for us, is um, making the time, doing things together understanding each other, communication. Um, and I think your, 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 your foundation must be right. Mm -hmm. um, we took the time to know each other. We, we, we met each other on campus yeah. and we were friends at first. And then we took it to the next level. Um, yeah. And I think marriage is, you have to work at it every day. Yeah. And um, the old virtues is very important, like trust and honesty and, and I, um, just to, to love one another unconditionally. But for us, it's always, we, also, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Yeah. We make jokes, we laugh, laugh at each other, we laugh <laughs> at ourselves. We can have lots of fun. And yes. I think that is a very important aspect of a, of yeah. a happy marriage. Yeah. yeah. Just to be able to chat and to be yourself. That's absolutely yeah. beautiful. What did you write your theses on? 
Yeah, like my husband told you, I'm a, I'm a natural reader. So my passion is mental health. And as I was reading up on men, there's always something on mental health next to me. Absolutely. Yeah. And as I was reading, I found that there was very little done in South Africa on the mental health of females. Yeah. And, and there's a, very little written. Very little yeah. written, yeah. yes. And being a self-identified coloured woman, uh, there was even less on, on the mental health of coloured women. So I told myself I need to make a, a, a valuable contribution towards that knowledge base. Um, so then I decided to do, because I'm working in the, in the education system, uh, special school system, I decided to, to do my study within the special school system and I used the coloured female teachers um, within the special, um, disadvantaged special schools to share this story with me. And what a lovely journey. Sure. Yeah, what a lovely journey. Yeah, that's, deep emotional yeah, stuff. That's extraordinary. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your thesis on? Okay, my PhD, although it was in child, uh, the Child and Family Studies Unit, um, but the topic was around interprofessional education. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite passionate about the topic because I work at the University of the Western Cape in the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences. Mm -hmm. And as you know, in the faculty, there are different departments. Um, but in the past, students graduate in the department that they registered with. For example, you you'd graduate as an occupational therapist, a nurse, a social worker, but you don't necessarily know what the other disciplines are about. Mm -hmm. And so I work in a unit where we actually design curriculum to bring those disciplines together. And so my topic was around designing a model for interprofessional education within our faculty. Mm. Um, and I think that's the solution to the problems in our society. Um, no longer can one discipline solve any problems yeah. that we're faced with. We it need to collaborate. To yeah. We yeah. need to yeah. collaborate. We need to come together. We need to work in a team. Yeah. Um, and that's the type of student at the University of the Western Cape that we are um, getting ready um, to work okay. out there within a team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. People speak about feel-good stories all the time, and this, this story makes me feel good deep inside. So a beautiful story, you. very inspiring. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for joining us. Thanks so much to Thanks you. Thanks so much for having us. <laughs>